What's up y'all, welcome back to another episode. Today I wanna to show you how to set up and build a simple germination chamber using an old refrigerator and a little tool called the ink bird. We just started a bunch of seeds and we're about to put them in the chamber. And so I just wanna show you our setup. It's really, really easy to build. Let's jump into it. Okay, so I just put all the seedlings in the germination chamber and we use an old refrigerator. Um, it's your classic refrigerator that you see in garages. It's got a freeze on the top. Um, refrigerator on the bottom and essentially the way that these chambers work is you need a tool called the ink bird and what the ink bird does is it has the ability to control the temperature with a heating mechanism and a cooling mechanism so when you get this tool you just order it on Amazon I'll put the link down below for it you can set the temperature that you want this refrigerator the interior of the refrigeration section to be and all this has, it has two plugins. On the ink bird tool, we have our set at 70 degrees and you plug the heating element and the cooling element into the ink bird. It says heat and cool. And what we have is we have the refrigerator plugged into the cooling section and then we have a crock pot plugged into the uh, heating section. And what that allows for is when, let's say it was 30 degrees out, like right now it's kind of chilly. I just had this open and so it was at like 57 degrees the inside because I had it open it's now climbing back up it's got the heating mechanism running the crock pot what the crock pot also solves is it solves a humidity issue if you're in a low hum a low humidity area and you need more humidity then that solves it so it's a nice 70 degrees inside this refrigerator and we've got our seedlings in here now I stack my seedlings like this this is like onions spinach lettuce and uh, some head lettuce and this works really good for us in our context um, and we can do microgreens the same way i'll stack the microgreens we'll stick them in here for 24 to 48 hours pull them out and then from there they can go in our grow lights or they can grow in your greenhouse but this is just a really really easy way um, to solve this problem with germination it's, it can be really frustrating for farmers especially not getting good germination man frustrating and costs you money so the way that it measures it, it has just a little temp probe right under here. And then we have the cord running in for the crock pot. And that's, that's pretty much it, y'all. It's a, a really easy tool and simple. I just kind of wired it through the side of the refrigerator right here. I didn't drill a hole in the fridge or anything. Just kind of slid the wires through and it's working fantastic for us. And if you like content like this and you want to see more of it, y'all, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And we look forward to seeing y'all on the next one.